I'm Jason McIntyre, and these are my college football picks this weekend to help make you some money. Week one in college football. First up, the game of the week, Oregon versus Auburn. A big time showdown in Texas. Oregon getting three and a half points. Folks, this number's been cratering for weeks. It opened at Auburn, favored by six and a half, down to three and a half. I like the Oregon Ducks here. I know it's not gonna be a popular pick, given the SEC is the best conference in college football, but I'm siding with the Ducks because of quarterback experience. Quarterback Justin Herbert, he's gonna be a top 10, definitely a first round pick in the NFL draft. He has a lot of experience. On the other side, you got Auburn quarterback Bo Nix, a true freshman, never started a game in his career. Of course, his father, the famous Auburn quarterback from the 90s, I got to lean on experience and Justin Herbert here. He's going to be looking for his big target, Jawan Johnson, a 6'5 transfer out of Penn State. I do believe he's going to be the X factor for the Ducks. They will be going up against a tough Auburn defense. Folks, this defense has at least two NFL first round picks, maybe three. Four guys will get drafted. New coach Mario Cristobal, he returns 18 starters. I mean, this defense should be tremendous this year. And listen, folks, this game means way more to Oregon. There's no doubt about it. The Pac-12, 4-12 and in bowl games. The last two years, they've kind of been a laughing stock. They have not had a team in the national championship in forever. The Oregon Ducks absolutely need to deliver here for the conference, for new coach Mario Cristobal, and for quarterback Justin Herbert's NFL future. I'm leaning on the Ducks getting three and a half points because of experience. Quarterback Justin Herbert will be the difference. Give me Oregon in a close one. Next up, Illinois favored by 18 over Akron. I know what you're thinking. Jason, what are you doing betting on Lovey Smith? Folks, this is a make or break year for Lovey Smith at Illinois. They've been atrocious the last two years. I mean, they've been starting young kids. Last year, Illinois ranked 128th in the country. That's out of 130 defensively. So what did they do in the offseason? Lovey Smith had 128 on the wall in defensive meetings so everybody could know we can't be that bad again. I'm telling you, Illinois is a team I'm going to be looking to bet on early this season. Illinois opened as a 15-point favorite. That number has climbed this week all the way up to 18. A lot of folks out there like Michigan transfer quarterback Brandon Peters. He won the starting job. I think Lovey Smith and Illinois beat down Akron in week one and make a statement. They're not going to be a doormat in the Big Ten this year. Next up, a big underdog. I'm taking East Carolina, getting 16 and a half at NC State. Boy, the Wolfpack will be a team I'm looking to bet against early this season. Only four starters return on offense. A lot of questions about the defense. They're not gonna be a strong team in the ACC this year. And I think there's gonna be some value early this year betting on East Carolina. New head coach, love the continuity they have on offense. Their quarterback was a freshman last year, he's back. I think East Carolina will be a live underdog to win this game outright. Give me East Carolina getting 16 and a half against NC State. Next up, one of the biggest underdogs on the board. I'm going with Texas State getting 32 and a half points against mighty Texas A&M. The one reason I'm fading A&M here, folks, they play the number one team in the country next week. They play Clemson. We know how close that was last year. They're not gonna be thinking about Texas State. This is a bad Texas State team last year, right? They only won three games, but if you look a little closer, they lost four games by six points or less. We know historically that tends to flip. You lose close games one year, you win them the next year. I think Texas State is definitely gonna keep this close for a half. Keep an eye on Texas A&M star wide receiver. He may not play, they might save him for the Clemson game next week. I just don't know if Jimbo Fisher's team is gonna be as locked in as they should be. One final note, Texas State returns 19 starters tied for most in the country. They will be a live underdog here to hang tough for at least a half. And this number came down from 34 and a half, now down to 32 and a half. Give me Texas State getting a lot of points. I like Michigan State favored by a whopping 23 points against Tulsa. I know what you're thinking. Jason, Michigan State couldn't score 23 points last year. How on earth are they gonna do it this year? Folks, Michigan State is a sleeping giant in the Big Ten this year. Their defense returns nine starters. They are gonna be ferocious. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Tulsa doesn't score any points in this game. And I think the Michigan State defense alone is going to be worth a touchdown or two. I like Michigan State. Remember, last year they were good and competitive. Injuries decimated their offense. This is how bad they were beat up last year. Michigan State was down to its fourth string punter. Everybody was hurt. Michigan State healthy. I love the coaching staff. I love the quarterback. And I absolutely love that wrecking ball defense. Michigan State favored by 23. Feels like a layup in the opener against Tulsa. And finally, another big underdog. Give me Louisiana getting 20 and a half points against Mississippi State. There's really nothing in depth here, except I want to fade the Bulldogs early. They lost their entire defensive line to graduation and the NFL. All four starters are gone. The defense has some talent left, but there is a lot of changeover. Remember, 10 players were suspended due to a scandal recently, the coach announced. The quarterback, Nick Fitzgerald, he graduated. Just a lot of new moving parts. Ultimately, Mississippi State's gonna be a good team in the SEC, but I think there's an opportunity to fade them here, favored by three touchdowns. I'll take Louisiana getting 20 and a half points in the opener against Mississippi State. That's it for this week. Remember, we had two games left over from last week that I gave you, Alabama, favored by 20 in the first half against Duke. Remember, I rode Alabama last year in the first half to a lot of success. And I'm gonna tack on Clemson, favored by 21 in the first half against Georgia Tech. Again, these are two teams I think are gonna blow out their opponents all year, but they're gonna be going with backups in the second half a lot. And I don't know if they're gonna be able to close out huge spreads. So I'm betting on the first half in both of those games. As I said last week, I wanna hear from you guys. Tell me what you love about these picks. Tell me what you don't like. And also, as always, tell me how much money I made you. We'll be back next week. Good luck.